Hi there, it's Leah here. Today I wanted to go over my dental appliance, my palette expander, and just talk a little bit about my journey with it so far and the changes that I've seen in my mouth. And um, I found these videos on YouTube really helpful when it came to making my own decisions about a dental provider and the way that I wanted to go with my treatment plan. So I'm hoping that it helps somebody else um, make really more informed decisions about um, how they can get results in their mouth and in their brain as well. So um, I did about four years of research looking into different appliances and different dentists and different ways of treatment with the mouth. And what happened um, with me is about 11 years ago, I got in a car accident. And previous to that car accident, my teeth had been perfectly straight, just about perfectly straight without ever having braces or a retainer. I had never seen an orthodontist in my whole life. So I was really grateful to have grown up with straight teeth. Um, but after this car accident, I noticed that my face started to get narrower and my teeth started to get a little bit more crooked. And there was really like a lot of bone loss happening um, from what I think is from that car accident. Um, and I think a lot of very manipulative chiropractic adjustments in my cervical spine after that car accident also contributed to a lot of the malocclusion that I see with my teeth. Um, just from a chiropractor that wasn't being very aware of my cranial bones and was just so hyper-focused on adjusting my neck when adjusting your neck can mess up your cranial bones. So it was really a combination of things that led to my issues. And so I did about four years of research. I saw a ton of different dental providers and I was originally gonna go with the Vivos brand, um, but I didn't like that the providers only said, this is what we use, this is the only thing. And I really wanted to find someone who truly believes in you know, bio-individuality and there's not a one size fits all appliance or package or dental plan for all people. Everyone is different. Everyone needs a different plan. Everyone might need a different appliance. So when I finally found a doctor who was like, uh, yeah, we have access to six different appliances and it really just depends on the person. And um, the doctor that I went with, Dr. Wright in Las Vegas out of Four Seasons Dental Spa was just really upfront and honest with me in like, hey, this might not even work. Like this is really an experimental thing that is very new and everybody is different and you have a pretty severe crossbite, which is one of the hardest things to restore um, this way. So he was just very honest, which I really, really liked. And he also um, went forward with designing his own appliance. He had tried several of these other appliances that are on the market and ended up designing one uh, with the lab that is his own. I believe it's called the Wright Appliance, W-R-I-G-H-T. And I went with this over Vivos and some of the other competitors because Vivos has a single split down the middle. So here's my appliance. And the Vivos has a single split down the middle, um, from what I understand, that kind of expands things this way. And I really liked his appliance because it has a split here and a split here. So it can expand um, sideways, side to side, as well as front to back, and just gives you a little bit more custom mobility uh, when it comes to training your mouth and um, stimulating the periodontal ligaments is the, design, is the goal with this. It is not pushing out the teeth or moving the teeth, but we wanna stimulate the periodontal ligaments to increase uh, bone turnover and to help expand the sutures and then grow some bone and then expand the sutures inside your palate and inside your mouth up in your skull you want to expand them regrow re some bone there and then keep respanding so um until your desires are achieved so I really enjoyed that he was super honest and he had his own custom design and I really liked this I wasn't so such a fan of the ball up here at first but my tongue positioning with this is amazing. Almost immediately, it trains your tongue to suction to the roof of your mouth, and it is there very, very strongly, even when I'm not in the appliance. So just within two weeks, which I've been using it for almost three weeks now, I have seen such an amazing gain in my tongue suction ability and to stay in its proper position, which is on the roof of your mouth, 
Um, but I've also seen a lot of expansion, specifically in the back areas of my molars. Um, and my tongue has so much more room to rest up there. I don't have any of the achiness that I had before, which I believe was the continuing of the malocclusion and my teeth kind of grinding against one another. And it was just kind of sore all the time. And I could feel my teeth moving into a smaller position, which was uncomfortable. And I don't have that anymore. So even just now, when I find my bite, this right side um, needed a little bit more expansion than my left hand side because I had a tooth pulled and I've also been punched in the face on this side, which all correlate together. And Again, back to Dr. Wright, he was the first one who ever said, hey, you need more expansion on this right side. The right palate is dropped more and comes in further than on the left side. So he was really giving a very customized vantage point and viewpoint of my mouth. And I can feel that with the design of this appliance, that there is currently more pressure on this right hand side because there needs to be. Um, and I haven't even done any of the expanding with the key. There, it comes with a key and you can expand it a little bit at a time every couple weeks. Um, and I haven't even done that yet, but I noticed so much more space already without that additional expansion. And I am just really, really happy and super satisfied so far just in my two weeks of treatment. Um, so my plan is to have two upper appliances and a lower appliance long-term in about a two year span of time. And, um, we are just going to start with the upper appliances until the maximum amount of width is created. Um, and I started at about 33 millimeters across. I think the, the goal is to get it to around 39. So that would be two palette expanders on the top. Each expander is three millimeters of expansion, just for a little frame of reference. So um, that's pretty much been the extent of it in the past two weeks. Uh, the first week I wore it for just at nighttime from sundown to sun up. Um, just because I was getting used to it. And now I'm wearing it for the majority of the day as well as at nighttime. And it just really made me also so aware of the habits that I was in with my mouth and with my tongue and with my teeth, how I was chewing on the inside of my mouth during the day without even realizing it or chewing on my lip or just doing weird things with my tongue and my teeth and cheeks that aren't optimal for, you know, expansion. It was really kind of sucking things inward. You know, when you're biting on your cheek or you're biting on your lip, it's sucking things inward and back. So this has really helped to deprogram me from doing those things. And I can feel so much more forward growth and so much more expansion, even just in that amount of time. So clearly there are a lot of contributors as to why, um, the malocclusion could be happening inside your mouth. Um, all of them that I've listed here, the car accident, certain chiropractic treatments, certain habits that you get into with your mouth. So I really find that it's important to address all of those as well. I will be seeing a endonasal balloon therapy practitioner, which is a chiropractor who sticks some small balloons up your nose and works on expansion within some of the cranial bones and your sphenoid bone, which sits at the middle of your skull. And the sphenoid bone connects to several other bones. So I find like doing that as well as like cranial sacral therapy or seeing a craniopath um, to work on the rest of the sutures in your skull. Because obviously if you're working on the two, you know, in the roof of your mouth, those are going to branch out and start contributing to the rest of your skull and your skull is going to contribute to the rest of your spine and your spine is going to contribute to all of your muscles and all of your nerves and all of your organs. So my approach is really taking this from a whole body standpoint. So I will be updating this channel on all of those things as I continue to add them on to my treatment plan. Uh, if you have any questions, um, feel free to drop a comment and I will try to get to those in the next video. I hope this has helped and I'm excited to see what your treatment has been if you decide to go this route too.